the Caribbean Examinations Council, or CXC, has touched the lives of just about every family in the Caribbean over the last 30 years. For most people, CXC is an examination that they or their relatives write at the end of high school, a hurdle they must get over successfully, the proverbial window to the world of employment or academic pursuits. CXC, however, is much more than just an examination. It is a vital thread in the fabric of Caribbean society and is in fact one of the most successful entities established throughout the Caribbean community, CARICOM. CXE graduates make significant contributions to various spheres of life in the region, in government, law, education, culture and sports. President Bharat Jagdeo of Guyana, Deputy Prime Minister and Attorney General of Barbados, the Honourable Mia Motley, double world record holder and the West Indies cricketer Brian Lara, Jamaica's Olympic gold medalist Veronica Campbell, and Vincentian International Recording Soka artist Kevin Little all took the CXE examinations. The idea of an Indigenous Caribbean examinations body predates the actual signing of the agreement establishing the Council in 1972 by over 25 years. The idea had its genesis in the 1940s, in 1946 to be precise. The late Prime Minister of Trinidad and Tobago, Dr. Eric Williams, in 1946 proposed the establishment of a Caribbean examinations body that would replace the traditional British-based examining boards that were operating in the region. The establishment of CXE was in keeping with the political and social climate at that time in the region, that is, a desire for self-determination and independence in a post-colonial era. Educators were of the view that the overseas examinations were not relevant to the goals, aspirations and developmental objectives of the region. In addition, the overseas examination structure provided little or no opportunity for the involvement of Caribbean educators, the key players in the delivery of education to the young people of the region. CXC set about to change all this. Countries were beginning to look towards independence. And in independence, the idea was that we would have national and regional institutions of value to us. And third, the regional movement, even though there was a setback in the Federation, the, the thrust towards integration continued. The heads of government were meeting and it is out of those meetings that the exam Caribbean Examinations Council was, it was decided to have the Caribbean Examinations Council.